What's up everyone? I have been waiting for this moment for so many years and all of us have been waiting for this moment. There are so many people who wanted Diablo 4 and it's finally coming and they confirmed it. It's not gonna be a mobile game or some other cheap game. No, it's, it's gonna be a console or PC game and it's gonna be a huge game. So many old fans who stopped playing Diablo after we received Diablo 3, they are all coming back. This is gonna be a huge cash cow and this is probably gonna be one of the best hack and slash games that we ever had. It's definitely gonna be more popular than all the other games that we have right now. The graphics looks better the storyline is better it has a bigger fan audience and there are a lot of things that they can still do to get more money out of this and it will be damn worth it so all the things we know right now is that we have some trailers we have some gameplay videos people like bloodshed already had their hands on it however they only saw just a really small piece from Diablo 4 anyway in this video I will be talking about everything that I know and saw and all the information that I received about Diablo 4 so the gameplay is gonna be a lot better I saw a lot of comments how smoothly everything was it has still a dark playstyle where you get ha a haunted feeling just like in Diablo 1 when you wanted to kill the butcher and you know that he was behind that door and you just did not want to open the door because he was gonna go after you uh, this game is gonna create that exact same feeling I did not have that feeling in Diablo 3 because Diablo 3 is just a big failure uh, of the company however we will get that feeling back in Diablo 4 I'm really sure about it they also added the old skill point system and they got rid of the Diablo 3 system. I always enjoyed the skill point system from Diablo 2 and I never liked the skill system from Diablo 3. Everybody was just playing the same thing in Diablo 4 that's definitely gonna change. And on top of that, this uh, if you ever played World of Warcraft with the talent tree, there are they are gonna add that in Diablo 4 and each class have a lot of options to choose from they also changed the game to an open world game so you can decide if you want to follow the storyline or not uh, you also don't have to do all the quests you can just start at act 3 and go to act 2 or you can just ignore the story pad and just search for your gears leveling up fast However, I recommend you to play the story because it is a great story. Because it is an open world game, you will see more people in one game. However, you can still decide if you want to play a certain event solo or in a group. But that is completely your choice. They also added the PFP system. That's gonna be hilarious because if I ever see Riker, I'm gonna PFP on him and I'm gonna follow him and stab him with my weapon or armor uh, if I have one or a shield. I don't care. I'm just gonna stab him. Uh, that's gonna be hilarious. I'm definitely gonna make videos about that, how, how I kill Riker. No, I'm just joking. How, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make videos about Diablo 4. It, I wanna get my hands on this game so, so badly. Um, so we know nothing about the difficulties and how hard the game is gonna be I guess uh, they will change that to normal hard and hell and the higher you go in difficulty the better gears you'll find I guess but we know nothing about this we are also gonna be able to trade gears and runes or gems so there is some kind of economy in this game and that's gonna make sure that people are gonna spend a lot of time on this game I know that I enjoyed playing Diablo 2 for for more than five years and I remember that I was finished with Diablo 3 in two months so there's gonna be a huge difference in Diablo 4 I'm very glad that the economy system is coming back they also added mounts to this game um, and that means that this game is gonna be huge the map is gonna be huge and you need a lot of traveling to travel from point A to B I'm so excited 
Uh, as I already mentioned, the story of the game will be dark and haunted. It's not gonna be fan a fantastic place to live in. I was searching for the right words. Um, it's a place where you don't want to live in, and that's Diablo 4. And I hope they really change the things that can happen if you die. Because in Diablo 3, I didn't really care if I died, because I could respawn. I hope it's going to be different in Diablo 4. I hope you really need to achieve a certain amount of armor and, and resistance to really beat a certain level. And I didn't, didn't really have that feeling anymore in Diablo 3. So, yes. Well, this was all the information that I have right now. Uh, the trailer looks amazing. If you want to see some gameplay videos, then just search for that on YouTube. Uh, it looks fantastic and I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. I don't even want to play Diablo 3 anymore. I want to play Diablo 4 or Diablo 2 to get back, to get those old feelings back uh, on how Diablo is supposed to be uh, be played and how the game is supposed to be 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 be. Whatever. I don't even know what I want to say anymore. I just want to play this game. The, the cinematics looks great. I really need this game. And I'm going to buy it as fast. I'm going to order it right now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to order it right now. I cannot wait. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Diablo 4. And if you want to play this game together with me then just leave comments, give me your email or whatsoever. We are going to rock this game and we are going to stream the shit out of this game. I'm going to be a new streamer, that's for sure. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.